In this video, we are going to explain how to measure the synchronous generator model parameters in the lab. Uh, you have here the um, equivalent circuit of the synchronous uh, machine. Uh, EF represents uh, the open circuit uh, voltage uh, per phase. XS, the synchronous reactance. And RA, the armature resistance. And VT, the terminal voltage at the state of terminals. Uh, in, in, in this experiment in the lab, we are going to ignore the value for RA because usually RA is much less than the value of the uh, synchronous reactance excess. So how are we going to measure excess? All right. Uh, to do that, um, we are going to measure the open circuit voltage uh, that we are going to call it uh, VOC, that's open circuit voltage, using uh, open circuit characteristic. And we are going to uh, determine the current in the armature IA uh, when we have short circuit, so the current will flow in the circuit. Uh, we are going to calculate this current. From both values, we can calculate the uh, synchronous reactance XS by dividing the value of the open circuit voltage EF by the short circuit current I in the armature. So let's go. The first test is open circuit test. How we are going to perform this test? We will we have synchronous generator in the lab, and uh, we are going to change the resistance or the variable resistance in the field circuit so we can control the current IF. And when we control the current IF in the field circuit, we are going to control the voltage induced in the stator winding, and we have here a voltmeter connected between two lines here to measure the voltage so this voltage measured it's line to line voltage and open circuit as you see the terminals if you can call this terminals a b c they are open what does it mean it means the current of the armature in any line is equal to zero so this voltage will be the open circuit voltage okay when we do that then we changed if and we get a, a value for the open circuit voltage line to line as you see uh, we can uh, sketch the relationship between the voltage the open circuit uh, and the field current and we are going to get this magnetizing curve as you see uh, and then uh, it's straight line if you look at it it's almost straight line in the beginning and then till it reach the knee of the curve then uh, it will start to saturate and will be nonlinear. If you extend the line, the straight line, like that, that represents the air gap, the air gap. So this one, the open circuit characteristic, the, the, that's the real curve, and it's saturated because of the iron there in the machine. And that's the air gap if you don't have the iron, so that's approximation for the air uh, gap uh, line, as you see, it's straight line. So uh, from this uh, open circuit characteristic at any voltage open circuit voltage you can find the corresponding current any value of the voltage you can find the corresponding current so obviously here that the open circuit voltage is proportional with if let me go back to the sir equivalent circuit that's the open circuit voltage because when you have if you, if you don't have if you don't have current here if this is open circuit so the current is equal zero so the voltage here will appear uh, equal to ef so that's the purpose of the uh, open circuit circuit just to measure the open circuit voltage v voc all right remember this is line to line and then you got to uh, uh, divide it by square root of three to get the phase and when you do that then you are going to get ef as you see in this circuit so you got this one all right now you go for short circuit test what you are going to do short circuit test you go at the uh, stator terminals and then you just you 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 you, you just short circuit the terminals when you do that so of course the resistance is minimum is equal to zero it's a short circuit so the current will be high what we'll do the same thing we are going to change uh, the field current by changing the stat so if will it change ef will it change but in this case the current will uh, flow in the circuit and to measure it you are going to have a meter in series in one line you can put it here or there or you can put it in, in all of them that's now no problem and then it will just measure the current the short circuit current so what is going to measure i short circuit current all right so obviously 
we, what you're going to get the relationship between IF and I uh, short circuit or uh, that's the armature current by the way so that's the armature current which is the short circuit in this case and that's the field current and you find it's straight line why is going to be why is straight line because when you look at the equivalent circuit I go back again to the equivalent circuit you will see that the it's it's just a little it's a little bit messy so it's if you ignore ra so you have only jxs and you got here the ef that you measured by the open circuit and then you have the short circuit so that's the current the armature so uh, when you see the relationship between uh, uh, the current and uh, ef you will see that ia is equal uh, as a vector of course it's equal to ef and divided by uh, j x s if you're just looking for the magnitude so i a magnitude is equal e f magnitude divided by x s all right and don't forget that f i uh, e f this voltage is proportional with what with the field current if you remember i f so e f is equal to some kind of constant time uh, i f so if you replace it in this equation so you will have i a is equal ef will be like constant time if divided by xs k is constant and and and, and this is let's say assume that xs is constant so ia is equal another constant times if so the relationship between the armature current at short circuit and the field current is just a straight line so that makes sense yes it's a straight line all right so we did the two tests now now just i mean a summary that's the open circuit when you measure the voltage at uh, the open circuit that will be e okay that's ef all right and when you make the short circuit at the terminal here in this circuit then the current will uh, will flow in this uh, circuit so this i short circuit will equal e divided by z and since we are saying z is equal to uh, r a plus j x s and we ignore r a so z will represent x s so x x actually is equal to open circuit voltage uh, divided by the short circuit current okay uh, now uh, how we calculate uh, it, it's it's really a good idea if we put all characteristic on one graph oh it looks messy no 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 this curve uh, that you see here uh, open circuit uh, characteristic that's the magnetization curve of the that we did it in the open circuit test all right and this straight line that's the air gap line and this one is the short circuit all right but uh, the y-axis here this y axis to the to the left that will be uh, the open circuit voltage and the one to the right represent the short circuit current so what we'll do uh, please pay your attention to that first you look for the rated value of the voltage of the machine and you go at this that's r it means rated and this open circuit so line to line line to line voltage you look at the rate value let's say that the rate value was like uh, one uh, uh, 208 for example voltage that's the open circuit so you just go till you hit the point on the open circuit characteristic and you go down and then you find the, field, the corresponding field current so what does it mean it means that ifo it's the field current that responsible for producing the open circuit voltage at rated value at open circuit so ifo the field current uh, produce voc the rated value of the voltage pay your attention okay well you want to find the corresponding short circuit current so if you go for ifo and you hit the short circuit uh, uh, line here this one you go there to the uh, uh, towards the right then it will give you the armature current at the short circuit test so i e o it's the short circuit current in the armature produced by i f o and i f o produce the rated voltage so if you divide the value of this one but this is line to line so what you'll do you divide this by square root three you get the phase so if you divide the voltage this one after you divide it by square root of three by the current iao you will get xs okay so you see that's why i mean we put it in two graphs like that but you don't have to it's just all we're supposed to do you calculate ifo first from the curve you, you move like that you can find the corresponding ifo 
Once you got FO, you go move to the short circuit and then find the corresponding IO and then you divide, you get XS. What's XS? It's called synchronous reactance. Using open circuit characteristic, we that that's also you can add the name saturated. Saturated synchronous reactance. Why we're saying that? Because you can calculate it using the air gap line. You remember? We said that if it, this portion straight line if an extended what you'll get air gap line so if you get at the same value of the field current that produced rated voltage at the OCC no you just go from IFO vertically till you hit the air gap line and see the corresponding voltage so if you get this voltage that's the corresponding air gap voltage at open circuit and this is of course line to line also all this axis line to line that's line to line so you take this value divided by root 3 you got the phase voltage and then divided by the current that you just use it uh, calculating xs here just divided by you so you get another exhibition for the synchronous reactance but you, you add u why this is unsaturated why unsaturated well it's unsaturated because we are using the air gap line and there's no saturation straight line all the way all right and usually the people use okay that's the that's the value this circle that's on the OCC the real one and this is the air the air gap line so I said okay we can make a, a line here intersecting OCC at the value of the open circuit watch at the rate value the rated value of the machine so you can work on this straight line okay that's the modified uh, modified air gap line okay that's just an information so so just, I mean, not to confuse you. You now you calculate two values: the synchronous reactance, the saturated one, using the open circuit voltage at rated value from OCC, and divided by AOO. All right, and the unsaturated using the air gap. There is another important parameter that I'd like you to know about. SCR. What's SCR? It's short circuit ratio. What is that? It's the ratio between the field current IFO that produce the rated voltage and the field current that produce the rated armature current. What? Yes. I if not, if you go I if not hit here, you go to the rated voltage, right? But if it, now it's it, when you when you calculate IO, IO is not the rated current of the machine. So how you get this value of the field current? You go to I at it I A R what's I R it is the rated current value of the machine. You remember how you calculate the rated current, right? You got you got S, the apparent power, rated value, and you divide it by square root of three, and the watch line to line also the rated value. What you get? You get the rated value of the armature current. So you go there. You you want to know what is the value of the field current that will that will will produce this I A R the rated value. Then you go till you hit the short circuit line and you go down to the IF axis, you get your IFR. So this field current IFR produce the rated value, rated value of the current in the armature. All right. So short circuit, short circuit ratio, it's the ratio between two current. The field current that IFO that produce the rated voltage to the field current that produce the rated armature current circuit and it's the same uh, if you divided the, the corresponding armature current IEO by AR so you, you divide this by this or you divide this by this. they are proportion so it give you the short circuit ratio well you might ask what is the value of calculating short circuit ratio no it's very important for an uh, engineer first if you have uh, sometimes you have a machine with low value of uh, short circuit uh, ratio or with high short circuit which one is better this one is better in some cases what is that it's better voltage regulation the voltage regulation is better than this one improved steady state uh, stability limit it's more stable than this one the only thing that the short circuit fault current in the armature is high what does it mean uh, short circuit fault if you have a generator and connected you know to system and let's say that having short circuit here short circuit on this terminal or anywhere 
So what happened? The armature current will be high. This is the only the, the only uh, bad thing about the high SCR. And then you have two good things. So that's the meaning of it. Well, that's all. Remember that I attach a sheet or uh, an example for lab uh, key. So it will help you to finish your lab. All right. Thank you.